Clive Palmer has stepped in to save the Queensland nickel refinery, at least for the immediate future. He's injected $23 million of his own money into the troubled business. It buys Mr Palmer time and allows him to keep control of the company as the state government demands to see the books. Lauren Day has the latest. It's a short-term solution to save 550 jobs. Clive Palmer reclaiming management of Queensland Nickel by putting a new company he owns, Queensland Nickel Sales, in control. He's also found an extra $23 million by securing a new loan against his assets. Clive Palmer has a moral responsibility to do something here. It comes after the state government said it would consider a $10 million bailout, but with a number of conditions. To have full access to the books, there's a new owner for Queensland Nickel, workers' entitlements are paid and any money refunded to the government if the company closes. Clive Palmer needs to exit the company completely. We know it's a, a one-of-a-kind enterprise in terms of being a nickel operator, uh, but let me be clear, we've not made any decision. Employment conditions will remain the same for all current workers, with FTI Consulting still acting as administrators to Queensland Nickel. In a statement, Mr Palmer said, I have been working diligently for weeks to find a solution. We, we are hoping that there are parties that can come into this operation and turn it around. The opposition says it's not up to the government to bail out Queensland Nickel and doing so would set a dangerous precedent. That Mr Palmer should be the one who's front and centre in putting his own resources into addressing the mess that he has created himself. A mess that's been resolved for now. The refinery stays open until at least April 15. Lauren Day, 10 Eyewitness News.